I think there are more photos of horses in here than there are of the whole royal family. <laughs> oh, Richard, may I speak with you a moment, please? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, why don't you hold this, Jonathan? Okay. Oh. What is it? I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for everything. Richard, if I could go back and do it all over again, I would have I would have told you about Jonathan the minute I realized Catherine wasn't coming back, but I was just so afraid you weren't gonna believe me. Listen to me. No, already. listen to me, please. What I did was wrong. I should have told you about Jonathan. I have caused you so much pain. And she did you out of so many years with your son, and for that I am very, very sorry. I don't blame you if you hate me. The truth is, Olivia, Edmund probably would have killed my son if you hadn't taken him. And it would appear, by the looks of things, your sister and her husband have done a splendid job raising him. God, Richard, can you ever forgive me? Please. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so afraid we wouldn't get past this. We are. We are past this. Thank you. Um, your forgiveness means a lot to me. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, I would leave tonight. This is Shane. He's a little older than you are. And this is my daughter, Mara. And uh, we all live together in the United States of America in a town called Springfield. Are you going back there? Yes, we are. When? Well, if I were Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, I would leave tonight. down this way and your mommy and daddy are waiting for you, okay? Okay. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Lewis. It was nice meeting you, Jonathan. He's a good kid. Mm -hmm. Because he has a mother and father who adore him. Of course, that'll all change soon. I'm sure some compromise can be worked out that will make everyone happy, including his parents. Uh, no. No, no. It's... My sister and her husband will have nothing, nothing to say about it. Richard has his family back. Jonathan and Catherine together again. Reva will do what's best for the child. And then she'll come home to her family. For your sake, Josh, I wish it were true. But I saw them together. <laughs> what does that mean? It means? You saw them together. It, what do you say? It means that the whole time you were putting this rescue mission together, they were busy putting together the pieces of those missing years, and they grew close. Very close. I watched them. It was as if they'd never been apart. Reva was remembering her life with Richard, and it was a very happy life. And Richard was remembering it all, too. The way it was, the way he still thinks it can be. Never gonna happen. You sure? Let me show you what you're dealing with. Let me show you the past, present, and if Richard has anything to say about it, the future. Please, come with me. you're going to show me that you think it's going to make a difference, but Reeve's coming home with me. Okay. Why don't you take a look inside, though? <laughs> Reeve. 
Reva may be leaving, but Catherine is definitely staying. Richard will see to it. God. It was all just talk before, wasn't it? Reva's other life, her other identity, Catherine. But now you can see how real it is. Was. This isn't new to me. I know Reva lived in this palace. I know she was the princess. He had her portrait done, so what? And the fact that he kept that picture in this room along with all of her other personal stuff like some kind of shrine that has no effect on you at all. I know Richard is in love with Reva. And again, I say, so what? She's committed to me, to our family. And you don't doubt that? Not even a little? No, I don't. I, I want you to read something. Um, Richard saved me. They're love letters. I'll pass. Fine, I'll read it. My dearest, my one true love, you have no idea how I miss you when you're away, how I long to be with you again. The warmth of your skin, your lips, your touch. No one's ever made me feel the way you do. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I already said I know Richard is in love with Reva. I, I, I really don't need the gory details of their past. You don't seem Thank to understand, you. Josh. Richard didn't write this letter. Reva did. Pretty interesting reading, huh? These letters have nothing to do with me or with my wife. You think I don't know what's going on here, what you're trying to do? You want Reva out of the picture so you can get Richard back. And you think if you push me hard enough, if you fire me up, I'll fight that battle for you. I'll tear them apart. But you see, there's a, there's a little problem with that logic. Really? What is that? There's nothing to tear apart because Reva and Richard are not together. Not yet. But I told you things changed when you left the island the last time, Josh. They got closer, searching for Jonathan. I know you've seen that too, haven't you? The way they look at each other, the, the tone in their voice when they talk. There's an intimacy there now that wasn't there before and it's just gonna grow now that they have Jonathan back. So what's your point? I want you to wake up, all right? Just wake up and pull your head out of the sand and get Reva out of San Cristobal now. Poor Richard does such a number on her. She won't wanna go home with you. Let me tell you something. Richard can pull every trick in the book on Reva. It's not going to matter one bit because she will not be taken in by him. You're wrong. She already has been. You've seen them with Jonathan. They're like the poster family for royalty. And that's what's killing you, isn't it? That's what's really killing you, Olivia, because you think that you're the one that should be on that portrait <sighs> right there. It could still happen. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're hanging on to that hope, you're the one that needs to pull your head out of the sand. Richard I'm will sorry. Take me back. Maybe he not can't right now. Stand the sight of your face, Olivia. Your fairy tale uh, love story with the prince is over. It's dead and gone. Well, you might want to wish that that isn't true. Because if I'm out of the picture, Richard will become even more fixated on your wife. Hey, he can do whatever he wants. I don't care because I know my wife. I know Reva. And right now, I guarantee you, all she's thinking about is getting off this godforsaken island and getting home to her family. Joshua, we need to talk. Yes, we do. Do you mind, Olivia? No, no, not at all. I have a feeling we'll be continuing this discussion once you realize I'm right. <laughs> What was she talking about? Huh? Nothing. So, where were you? I was talking to Richard. He's come up with some proposals as to how we might proceed. Well, that's very princely of him. He would like for me to stay on here indefinitely to help him raise John. He would. At first I said absolutely not, and then he offered to have Mara and Shane come and stay with me, and then he offered to have you move down here as well. Really? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, I wish I would have been there. I wish I would have... could have seen the look on his face when you told him no. Well, actually, I didn't say no. I told him I had to speak to you first. <laughs>